Today I'm going to be trying mac and cheese ice cream, pizza ice cream, and a bunch of other flavors that could best be described as a sign of the end times. Uh, this is by Van Lee Win? Van Lee? I don't know. They ain't from around here. I know that much. They're from around. Where are y'all from? You know what? If I made this, I wouldn't tell people either where I live. Brooklyn, New York. I think that pretty much tells us everything we need to know. Uh, my understanding that this is a Walmart exclusive because you know Target ain't got the time for this kind of foolishness right here. Let's just jump right into it. I'm a little curious to see if I can survive this mac and cheese ice cream. I mean, it can't be awful, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't make it. It is... It looks like a frozen block of Velveeta cheese. Here we go. I don't appreciate the smell of that. Okay, that was very weird at first. Quite upsetting. Then it kind of had a not so bad finish. Why am I going for another bite? I can't get over that first bit. Okay, that first little taste is spot on. Like you're eating mac and cheese. I can't do it anymore. It finishes smooth, but oh my gosh. Okay, if you wonder what mac and cheese ice cream tastes like, the answer is exactly what you think it is. Let's go with something a little more tame. This is limited edition, by the way. All of these are. This is Bourbon Cherries Jubilee. I actually expect this one to be awesome. Oh man, does it look good too. Wow, look at that. This is a this is a pretty looking ice cream here. Okay, oh man. Oh, this is gum delicious. Bourbon Cherries Jubilee this is solid. All right, let's do uh, Wild Blueberry Shortcake. I can't got to use the Alabama can opener. Your teeth. All right, here we go. Oh, that's really good. Man, I don't want to tell the people up in New York they're making really good ice cream. But this is solid. Highly recommend that one as well. This is called Planet Earth, which I assume just tastes like dirt. Very unappealing color. Looks like the color of toothpaste. Earth ice cream with green ch Oh my gosh. There are green chunks in the blue. It doesn't taste like dirt, but I don't know. It tastes like I'm eating a candle. What is this? Matcha green tea? No, I do not know. This is for all you people that probably drink kombucha. And that ain't for me. Royal wedding cake with elderflower and lemon. Is this what the Royals, their wedding cake was, I guess? They're just too good for plain old vanilla, I guess. Nope, no, no, no. No, that aftertaste, that's like soap. Oh, I just had a flashback to get my mouth cleaned out after I called my sister a, a B-U-T-T -T hole. Oh, no, 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 mm -mm. It's like I just stuck a Glade plug in in my mouth. Got two left. I think I can do it. Uh, this one is hot honey, which is an oxymoron because this is ice cream. So I'm not sure how you have hot honey. That's like saying jumbo shrimp or Tennessee football. Oh, a little crunch. We're supposed to be hot about it. It's like you don't have a very well mixed Butterfinger Blizzard. I mean, it's fine. Our last one, one I may be the most curious about what in the world this thing tastes like, and that is pizza flavored ice cream. Probably should not have ended with this one. Oh no, oh God. This looks like the floor of a Little Caesars. <sighs> Lord, give me the strength. Here we go. I'm going to go right for one of those, I assume, marinara swirls. What was that? I don't know what's going on in here. I don't hate the pizza ice cream. Things I did not expect to be saying this year. It's not the best one of these, but by far it's not the worst because it probably belongs to the mac and cheese ice cream. All right. I'm going to go cut my tongue off now. 